folks, this next trailer is not um, the typical sort of movie that I would um, naturally be interested in. I think it's just pure comedy. But someone had brought it up in a previous video, so I decided I would go ahead and check it out. So let's do that. Oh, sorry, it's called Jexy. And it has this guy in it, and I can never... Is his name Adam? Divine? Something, or am I confusing that with the Maroon 5 singer? I can't remember. I know his face, but I don't remember his name, so... Oh, look at you. A sweet, beautiful baby. Hello, my name is Jexy. I will need the passwords to all of your accounts. One, two, three, four, five, six. Stupid. Huh? How can I help you? Let's get dinner. You look like you could use a salad bill. What the fuck kind of phone is this? <laughs> would you like to watch some pornography now? Ooh, no. Why would you even ask me that? Because you watch pornography every night. What? Oh, no. Oh, you're okay. I'm okay too, thanks. Oh, I'm sorry, you're okay? I'm fine, but more importantly, how's your phone? It's got a little bit of a scratch that will definitely annoy me. You're joking. Okay. <laughs> you guys are supposed to write lists that break the internet every day. Oh, him. Have not gone viral since yesterday. Prison lips, what do you got? Cats that look like Ryan Gosling. I like you. I like you like. Your boss is a fucking moron. What is wrong with your phone? He's so funny. Play me out. <laughs> <laughs> He's so funny. Oh, loved him in the Ant Man movie. I used to be that way too. You want to play kickball later? Let me check my calendar. Your only plan is to go home alone, furiously masturbate, no. and then oh, gosh. go to sleep. Dude, your phone is super mean. Oh, I've seen that girl before. Hey, you ready to go? Yeah. Would you mind not bringing your phone? Who did, bitch? Oh, my goodness. This thing's going to be like an obsessed. Oh my gosh. Actually, it wasn't the worst sex I've ever had. Christ. I need a new phone. This one's defective. I see hipster dudes like you come in here every day. Like little crackheads. I suck your dick for a new phone. You can buy a thousand new phones and I will follow you on to every single one of them. Oh my gosh. We are going to be together forever. Oh my god, I am fucked. How? Oh. Wake up, bitch! Oh. 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 <laughs> are you laughing at my dick right now? Yes. Oh. 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 This bitch have that I don't have. A soul for one. Does she have Google Maps? No. She fucking sucks. <laughs> Chime in here real quick. Not now. Oh my god. No one puts baby in a corner. Oh lord. Oh my oh, gosh. I am programmed to make your life better. She's trying to kill me. I am the captain now. Oh, You'll both send pictures of your dick to everyone. Oh no. Why are you doing thumbs up in a fucking dick pic? Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. This crazy movie. This looks insane. This does not look like something that I would be interested to watch, but just the little the trailer that I saw was pretty comedic. Um, this actor's pretty funny. The very first time, sorry, um, got dogs in my lap and I'm moving their dog food around. The very first time that I ever saw this actor, he was in a movie called, I think it was called The Final Girls or Final Girl, something like that. It's a, it's a, a comedy horror about this um, girl whose mother has died, and her mother used to be a, like a scream queen type actress. And she and, and this girl and her friends, they somehow end up in one of her mother's most popular horror movies. And so this character... He, he was he was one of the people there in the movie, and he was hilarious. The, the whole movie was really good, and I highly recommend it. That's another example of genres mixing that I like, like horror and comedy. I like that. Not necessarily just comedy, which I've said before. I don't... this I'm not super interested to see this, but this phone looks like it, she's on a war path. A Terminator Warpath and she's just gonna completely make his life miserable because she's obsessed with him 
Uh, the trailer itself did feel a, a bit long. I was entertained the whole time, but I was aware that it felt like it was just showing a little bit too much, like it, just way too much. It was just under two minutes and 48 seconds. That's a big trailer, you guys. Pretty long trailer. Uh, so I, I think it could have been trimmed and it would would have been just as effective and we got, we got the point early on that this phone was going to be a little bit uh, obsessed with with the human and uh, so they didn't really need to show ever all the stuff that they did show but Michael Pena I he he's so funny I I don't think I've ever seen him in anything that I didn't like his acting in and so if I did happen to watch this film, it would probably primarily be because of his um, involvement with it. But I don't, I don't know that I will. If I do, I'll come back and talk about it. But, you know, I'm not, it's certainly not something that's really going to be on my to-watch list just because it's, it's kind of, you know, comedy, like I said, not my thing. It's, it's just, I don't know. It's just me. But uh, if anybody's seen it, well, it hasn't come out yet. It comes out in October. But if it, anybody gets around to watching it, you can pop in and let me know what you think about it. And, uh, or maybe I'll just read the, like the movie spoiler or something about it just to find out how it ends. How the heck he gets rid of this crazy AI that's going to ruin his life. Anyway. Okay, you guys. Well, that is it for this one. Bye. Bye.